Oh man, we have some epic news. Did you miss me? Yes, right. What's up? All right. going on everybody how are y'all doing we are here we're back with an epic 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 video i've been out of town past three days that's why you see nothing on the channel but we're back before we get started give this video a huge gigantic thumbs up and let's get right to the news well apparently while i was gone there's been a seesaw of switch to specs leaks all right let's talk about it and i'm gonna share my thoughts this is coming from a somewhat reputable in tipster i want to say insider this is coming from tomsguy.com at o r e x d a or exada however you say his name on twitter he first hinted that the nintendo switch 2 What's going to be in its chipset will be a NVIDIA Tegra chip built on Samsung's 4 nanometer processor node. And then, a day later, he, he reversed what he said and said the Tegra chip has been dropped by Nintendo. When I read that, I was like, what? Is he saying the 4 nanometer chip? or Tegra, NVIDIA as a whole, Nintendo's no longer using them. And didn't make much sense to me because the Tegra X1, the NVIDIA X1, Nintendo has had tremendous success partnering with NVIDIA. We could almost guarantee that the Switch 2 will use some kind of NVIDIA chipset and all of the leaks, most of the leaks have been pointing to the T239, T239 um, Tegra chip, which puts the Switch 2 possibly, possibly, possibly either on the same level or slightly more powerful than an Xbox Series S, which for a handheld device is going to be insane the switch 2 is going to be future proof we should be getting all of the games coming to the playstation 5 the triple a third party games that will be coming to the playstation 5 xbox series x you should see them on the nintendo console for the next four or five years based on the leaks and the power that will be in this handheld can't wait it's going to be dope it's going to be awesome but that's not it we're going to hit you with, where's my DJ Khaled? Another one. Let's get to the next news item. It's happened. It happened while I was gone. Lego 2K Drive is official. And the game looks pretty dope. Actually, it looks phenomenal. <laughs> This trailer makes the game look real, real good. And so LEGO 2K Drive is official. And these are some of the highlights of what's going to be in this game. Well, before we get to the highlights, this is a mix between Mario Kart, LEGO, um, Need for Speed. It's like a, a met, mish, uh, Forza open world racing. It's going to have a story mode. So the game looks pretty cool nonetheless. Once I show this trailer to my kids, they're going to go crazy. I'm going to buy it for me too. Lego 2K Drive. Now, a Switch version. Wait, wait, let me see. <laughs> Was a Switch version in the trailer? And it is confirmed for the Nintendo Switch as well. It's gonna be a multi-platform release. It's gonna have a story in a vast open world. So it will have some kind of story mode. 
um, high octane Lego racing customizations, play solo or together. Um, um, so it's going to have multiplayer. Of course, it's going to have um, online multiplayer match online with racers of similar level. So this is going to be a dope, dope, dope game. And I believe the release date is May. Like it's right around the corner. So I love it. I love it when companies announce a game and then just release it like shortly afterwards. Yeah, May 19th. I was about to say May 9th. But May 19th, Lego 2K Drive. I'm putting this on my, my games to pick up. The game looks pretty cool. Um, put it on your, your radar, your radar for 2023. 2023 shaping up to be a pretty, pretty, pretty dope year. But guess what? We're going to hit you guys and gals with another one. The next news item. Wow. This came from nowhere. I didn't know this was happening. Sonic Origins Plus. So Sonic Origins Plus. I already have Sonic Origins. So um, I'm interested to see how, if you already have Sonic Origins, <coughs> um, how the Plus um, game will be. It would be. Will you get a discount, or is it just a, a completely new game? Because the content screams, "Wow, a lot of dope content!" Check this out. Sonic Origins Plus will be available as an all-in-one bundle that includes the Sonic Origins base game and the Plus Expansion Pack. So come on, if you already have Sonic Origins, they need to give us a discount to, and just we can just download the Expansion Pack. But check out what's included. 12 Sonic Game Gear titles. I never played, I did, I did have one of the Sonic Game, because I had a Game Gear as a kid. I did have Sonic on the Game Gear, but not 12? I didn't know there were 12 games on the Game Gear, but nevertheless, check it out. 12 Sonic Game Gear titles, playable Knuckles in Sonic CD. Sonic CD, I love Sonic CD. I had the Sega CD, I was a Sega kid and a Nintendo kid, so I had the 32X, I had the Sega CD, I had a Game Gear, I had the Sega Genesis, we had it all, bro. Um, um, you, Sonic, um, Knuckles playable in Sonic CD for the first, and for the first time ever, Amy Rose as a playable character in Sonic 1, 2, three and knuckles and sonic cd so you could play as amy rose sonic's girl this is crazy this is dope 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 hey for me uh 16 bit 2d sonic was when sonic was at its prime now i have to say the sonic um origins i mean um the new F sonic frontiers finally we got a dope 3d sonic game but this is this is dope all right the next news item the nintendo switch has received another firmware update and what's included nothing <laughs> firmware update version 16.0.1 and the patch notes didn't mention much except for stability uh, system stability improvements to enhance the user experience so your switch is running even better now that this update is here i haven't had my switch connected in the last three days while i was out of town to the internet so maybe i need to update my switch it's probably doing that now since i'm back home but we have one more one more dope 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 news item a new teenage mutant ninja turtles game is in development and based on the last ronin the footage that you see is teenage mutant ninja turtles out of the shadows um that i think it was on the xbox one and ps4 this game looked dope i never played it but it looked pretty cool but um this new teenage mutant ninja turtles game um the last Ronin will be based on the turtles last ronin graphic novel and i also read somewhere where it's uh, it's getting inspiration from the most recent god of war so we're gonna get maybe a more over the shoulder third person perspective ninja turtle game which sounds interesting hmm. all right 
those are the news items for this video what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out boy this channel that i'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when i had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers man and um he's probably gonna lose shit when i do this but hey man I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too. Hey, and if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master, the right Jedi Master. master. <laughs> we I got you, man. You're playing two towns. Thank you. I got Obi -Wan, you, man, homie. I'm dedicating a workout set to you, my boy. Let's go, guys. Four, 28! <laughs> he said he ain't no dead!